You can't just decide to be happy. No, you can't, but you can sure as hell decide to be miserable. And that about sums up what exactly my problem with this book was. But let me just back up here for a second. Um, The Magicians is about a boy called Quentin Coldwater whose life pretty much sucks. He is in love with his best friend's girlfriend, his parents barely acknowledge his existence, and he's super socially awkward, like, super awkward. He's really obsessed with this fictional children's book series called Fillory and Further, which is somewhat reminiscent of Narnia. Um, and I've, it has taken me literally forever to figure out if this series does exist, like, in our world, or if it's really just in that book and I'm still not 100% sure. Okay, so the book follows Quentin as he is accepted to Brick Bill's Academy, which is a kind of a university for magicians. And yes, if you have not already guessed it, it is pretty much like Hogwarts. So after five years at school, he graduates and finds out that Fillory actually exists in real life. And he gets to go there and be the hero for once. Oh, this book has been bothering me so much. It really upset me to read this book. Number one, Quentin is the most whiny, obnoxious, complaining character that you will ever meet. He is so annoying. Literally, there's nothing that complains. I mean, I mean, I get it. You know, lots of teenagers have to do with angst and and you know insecurities and they're they hate the world and they're super unhappy that's fine but keep in mind this one book actually spans about five years and in those five years he does not mature one bit there's no growing up in there he just persists being a stupid idiotic teenager it's as if he does not want to grow up. It's as if he just wants to stay like that and just keep hating the world. It's like the most emo character you will ever meet. And I cannot stand it. Like, seriously, giving me a headache. And as you read along in the book, you keep hoping that there's gonna be some sort of resolution at the end that's gonna make everything that just happened make sense. That resolution just never happens. Ever. You know how in most books, or actually every single book, there is some sort of purpose that they want to achieve or they want to get, you know? They want maybe to beat a villain or to conquer a country or to win that girl's heart or whatever. I don't care. But there has to be some sort of purpose to that book, to that storyline, to what the people in there are doing. And it's just not. It's just not very satisfying to read a book and keep hoping that something major is gonna happen that's gonna make everything else seem make sense and it just never does. Also, I'm not someone who is essentially against eclecticism, like against picking parts of other books and stories that you liked instead of incorporating them in your story, but just taking whole storylines and whole books and then just mixing them together in one confusing and nonsensical blend of randomness is not the way to do it. So they've taken Harry Potter, Narnia, and the never ending story and just mashed it all in one. Like mashed potatoes, just not as delicious. Okay, so the book was not completely terrible um, up until the point where they left school and went into Fillory. From that point on, it was just very hard to keep track of what was going on. It was very, like, it was so all over the place. And also, Quinn and Alice's relationship, it's just so, like, oh my god! You just wanna really just punch them in the face all the time. I mean, I have to admit that this book does make a good point in showing that nothing is perfect, that even your wildest fantasies that you perceived to be absolute perfection, um, have flaws and have bad parts to it. But seriously, this book was as if the writer couldn't decide what kind of story to write, so he just wrote them all in one and that's didn't that didn't turn out very well, I'm sorry. Okay guys, 
that's it actually about my rant. I just had to get this off my chest. So if any of you have read this book and you think that I totally misunderstood it, please let me know. Uh, I would love to hear other people's thoughts on it because I just... They, it, it was not a book for me, let's just put it that way. Maybe some people can get something from it. Maybe some... I don't know, maybe it could be... I don't know. I don't know what it could be. Just tell me, okay? Click the subscribe button up there if you want to hear more of my book talks. I will do them more frequently now. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Bye!